Second part of uh, the objections about my Libya coverage was about Saif al-Islam. He is uh, the son of Muammar Gaddafi, and uh, he was reported to have been uh, captured by the rebels. That was reported by everyone. Okay, now you might say, hey, look, there was an outlet here and there that got the story a little quicker, that he, in fact, was not captured. I hear you. When we went to air, every single thing that we read was that he was captured. And then afterwards, he obviously was not captured, as we're about to show you, and people go ballistic. They're like, how could you get this wrong? Why didn't you have a time machine that lets you go back in time and find out that Saif al-Islam actually was not captured and re-reported? Well, because I don't have a time machine. But what I do have is video. Here's Saif al-Islam in Tripoli. Free on the streets of Tripoli, less than 24 hours after he was allegedly captured, Saif al-Islam, Muammar Gaddafi's heir apparent, made a surprise appearance. Surrounded by supporters, his presence was a boost to the morale of pro-Gaddafi forces. They've been making what many thought was their final stand, but he's keen to show the government is still in control. Uh, he was basically sending a message to all the uh, people who doubted him that, of course, he was not captured. Now, look, there's some reports that he was captured and then got uh, somehow got freed. Uh, another uh, Muammar Gaddafi son, Mohammed, apparently was captured and then somehow escaped. So it, there's mass confusion there. But to all the people who did not believe in the Gaddafi regime and Saif al Islam, he basically had this to say. We've got it on tape. To all the non believers. How did that? To all the non believers. Especially you, Tom Jackson. <laughs> Are you Jake Uger? To all you non believers who thought we couldn't do it. And uh, they asked him about the rebel uh, defense and you know because he claims that they laid a trap for him they brought him into Tripoli and he laid a trap I don't know if that's true either but how, how are the defense forces for the rebels well we asked Saif al and this is what he said all we hear is about their defense they can't stop a nosebleed <laughs> apparently that's his opinion 